watching Outnumbered. I'm Harris Faulkner, and here today, Fox News at Night anchor Shannon Bream. Woo. What? Who said it? Hey, she has a new book out, Finding the Bright Side, The Art of Chasing What Matters. We'll talk more about that later in the hour. Next, Fox News contributor Katie Pavlich, host of Kennedy on the Fox Business Network. Kennedy, and in the center to compete with that is like solid. You. You we got love the shoe it. game. It's yeah, great we're to trying have you here. Oh, that's a good point. I okay. like that. I, it's, that's all I can do. All right, let's rock. The and table roll. is blocking them, but they are <laughs> need to see them. They are <laughs> delightful. The we'll cornucopia. Oh, oh no, nope, not anymore. Hey, mm -hmm. there you go. There you go. There you go. For all of you, all right. unredacted in a skiff. Just mm -hmm. six blocks away mm -hmm. from the Capitol at the DOJ. Why not give the whole argument credibility with those five or six, including Chairman Nadler, mm -hmm. who can go re exploit? Mm -hmm. They they want to draw this out for whatever reason as long as they can to try to muddy the waters. And, and you you mentioned health care. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's story time. Well, you said in this why committee. were the Democrats hired in November at the midterms? It, well, that's what voters and, and, told and if they everybody. think that's an advantage. Every moment they talk about this, they're losing an opportunity to press an advantage on issues that might actually resonate with people. There's not a single voter out there that's on the fence that's worried about whether or not the rules committee want. So why can't they start from there and then fight about the stuff that maybe doesn't matter as much? But there is a big issue and people are yeah. now starting smorgasbord and they wouldn't vote on any of it. They're the obstructionist. It feels very 2020. The whole I, thing. I also think that, the, you know, these numbers and you say it's no longer a manufacturer crisis. I think that actually helps the president, mm -hmm. oddly enough. It helps yes. him make a case about immigration mm -hmm. with a larger influx. But Congress does have to act. This mm -hmm. shouldn't yeah. be a partisan issue. And, and that's how they're treating immigration. No one's touched. All right. So what could be the nation's most restrictive Abortion ban, well, abortion bill rather becomes law in Alabama. Or was forced to do things or whatever. That's Go a ahead. really good point because one of the best picks then candidate Trump made was in Mike Pence. Mm -hmm. He didn't look at another, another white guy. He said, Where do I. Canada Beto O'Rourke live streamed his teeth cleaning at the <laughs> dentist. That was great. Might be time to. They could and got a discount so I could go to that school. There's just so much backstory, I think, to what would really come into these numbers. And if students don't have a chance to explain or contest it in any way, that's a concern. But Kennedy, wouldn't it be a better idea to just give students free choice about where they go to school instead of locking them into zip codes they're now going to be judged by for an SAT score and yeah. not being told what they're actually being judged for? Yeah, I think the... And it, you should know what your score is. Otherwise, you're going to see parents figure out ways around it. So they're going to be terrified in affluent neighborhoods. The, the parents who right. are, you know, so sucked into that admission scandal. We, so now they're going to pay people in lower income neighborhoods where there's a lot of crime to have their mail sent. But, so it looks like right, that's exactly. where they live. But Pete, yeah. I had not thought question? about that. Right. There's right. more corruption that comes with that. But this also, you know, the SAT is arguably an unfair way to judge a student's mm -hmm. ability in to get to college. Of course. Right. So all those people things. In lower income neighborhoods with bad public schools can yep. now send their kids where they want okay. them to go. We're talking go. about Shannon's book Ooh. up next, so don't go away. Anna Breen could be a haberdasher because she wears many hats, and now she has a new book out, Finding the Bright Side, The Art of Chasing What Matters. It is amazing. What an incredible life you've lived thus far, Shannon Breen. You know, I've had a lot of fun, but I do talk about in here how I wasn't allowed to watch you growing up on MTV yeah, because in one of the chapters entitled Footloose But Not Fancy Free, I had super strict household that I grew up in. I turned out okay. Yes. I'm not too scarred by it. But when the movie <laughs> Footloose came out, I wasn't even allowed to see it. I had to sneak to a friend's house with a VHS <laughs> tape to watch it. Um, so I had all ideas. Kinds of and somehow from there, I ended up on the stage at Miss America in a bikini. Yeah. Uh, so there have been many twists and turns. But uh, I share a lot of the behind, Miss the, Florida. behind the scenes stuff that we do here at Fox, interviewing the president, what happens at the Supreme Court, what really happened with that health care decision at the Supreme Court. There was a lot of untold story there. It's in here. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope it'll be encouraging. It's very much about my faith. And um, I share some tough points in my life because I think we're all going to be there. Yes. So I hope that people will find we all are, always and feel are free there. to laugh at my expense also in this book there's plenty of that well we appreciate you sharing your life with us through this book i read That's a little great. bit of it in the galley copy you sent but now i have a hard copy and everybody else should go get one as well amen perfect yes. gift for dads thank and grads you so congratulations much. yes thank you very much very you cool. are all authors esteemed and i'm happy to now be in your company you've you already are. sold more books true. than i sold I doubt. Uh, so, and yeah. not only can you see Pete Hexeth on Fox and Friends Weekend, you can also check out Fox Nation. Go there now, foxnation.com, and get on board. We're back at noon Eastern right here on the couch. Now here's Harris.